And that's what's so neat about being 68 years old and dying of cancer. They can't scare me anymore. And they want to argue this point with me at any time, place, man, I am willing. From the prime minister all the way down. I'm doing this for all the Inuit across Canada. I don't want them to go through what I went through down here or what my relative's children went through up there. My white name was David. If there's ever a David and Goliath situation, this is it. <laughs> but uh, we'll make it Kiriak and Goliath. What kind of a documentary is it? Like, I have no idea really what you're doing. Like, why would anybody be interested in me? I was flying one day on a first air jet, and there was a magazine, Up Here magazine, and there was an article about you. Yeah. I knew the editor, so I called him up, and I got your email. What are you going to do with this? This is costing money. You're not going to make any money out because nobody's going to watch it. And so I wonder, why are they doing it? I thought it was interesting how you were brought down here and how you got into sports, and then it's very interesting. I never went as far as you. That's why I'm interested yeah. in you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested in you because you're suing the government for Inuit rights. We need to be defined in law in this country. We don't exist in law, and the government is the thing that can make us exist or not make us exist. They're the ones that made the Indians exist. They did certain things for the Indians, did nothing for us. You learn to live with this until you get to the stage where you're old and you have cancer and you may be gone in a few months. And then you say, no more, this is crap and I don't want it for the other Inuit that are growing up behind me. My name is Kivyak.